Hi there Motor Rider World fans and we're out in Boxburg on the East Strand and we're here with the future from the past and the current future. We're here with Italjet's Dragster Scooters and uh, the one on the left is the older one which, uh, which they produced from about 1998 to about 2002, 2003 and it is of course a 180cc two-stroke. And then on my right hand side is Italjet's brand new 200cc four-stroke scooter which they produced uh, for the last sort of just over a year or so. And um, we were lucky enough to have both of these bikes and we put them to the test. And sadly, our test has almost come to its end. But what can I say about these beauties, these Italian beauties? As you can see, the older scooter uh, had looks way, way, way ahead of its time, as well as technology. I mean, the, the unique front suspension on this bike um, was something really, really, truly to behold. I was lucky enough to ride one of the older uh, Jalera Runner 180cc two-stroke scooters, which had the same motor from Piaggio, but unfortunately I was never, never able to ride one of the Italjet Dragsters. And uh, recently that dream has come true and it has lived up to every expectation that I could have ever wanted it to have. Um, the bike itself, 20.4 horsepower, it accelerates really, really well. This particular scooter, less than 5,000 kilometers of the original mileage on the bike. Um, and uh, I must say it, it performed really, really well. Um, the rollers and the belt might be old, might be original, so you know you can upgrade that. Being a typical two-stroke, you can do a lot of performance upgrades to this to make it really, really go. Top speed-wise, um, we managed to get just over 130 k's an hour on the scooter, and it would go more with a lighter frame on it. Obviously, I am slightly heavier, so if you are lighter, you will go faster on it. But it just feels safer when you're riding this. Um, you can accelerate way ahead of traffic and things like that. Um, Handling-wise, um, you can feel the handling is old. I mean, it's 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 uh, it's sort of like a lucky draw whether you make it into the corner and make it back out safely. It really, really is a bit dodgy, um, and that might have effect to do with the older tires. Um, you know, the suspension is older, but handling-wise, the newer one definitely takes a cake. So with the newer scooter itself, um, horsepower-wise, about 20 horsepower on here. Um, it is a lot heavier, uh, about 17 newton meters of torque, and that's where this bike shines, torque-wise. Obviously, typical four-stroke, low-down grunt. So that really, really is nice. Um, Weight-wise, 133 kilos, so it is heavier than the older bike, which tips the scales at about 115 kilos. Um, and on the newer one, we managed to get about 130, 131 k's an hour on her down a hill. Um, really really pushing it but I must say handling wise like I said it's got the newer suspension on it so it's all suspension on it it's got the newer frame it's got the newer modern technology on it and it's got Brembo front and rear brakes with ABS so the braking on the on the newer bike far far better than the older bike although it is a lot more fun braking on this older bike because you can slide it out and, and just be a general menace so really really impressed with the bikes themselves um, you know, price-wise, in this condition, you'd still pay up to 80,000 Rand for an unrestored bike with this mileage on, the 180cc two-stroke. The newer ones, um, quite pricey, just over 130,000 Rand, about 134 to 138,000 Rand for the newer one. And uh, a lot of people have said, yeah, it's expensive, it's a 200cc scooter. But you must remember, it's a fashion statement. These bikes are fashion statements. It's like having that uh, trophy wife that you've always wanted and you always want to show her off. Um, it's exactly the same thing as this. So you've got all the money in the world and you've got this. This is the fashion statement. It is art on wheels. It truly, truly is. Much like the older one was. The older one was and still is art on wheels. So really, really impressed. Really had a good time on Italjet's uh, older dragster and the newer dragster. So for a full review, it will be in the Jan issue of Motor Rider World. Um, Beam Productions in the house as always, doing the videos, doing the photos for us. Um, and yeah, really, really impressed. And uh, I think we're going to get some more riding done while we can.